Hey guys, it's Jerry or Point for Kids first. Today we're reviewing the film Kanku Panda 3. Now this film is excellent in so many ways. Even after the third installment in the series, the animation is still as beautiful as ever, the storyline is still as exciting, and there are still new lovable characters. Now, the adventure starts when Kai, a very powerful and evil villain, is back in the overworld. Now let me explain. He was kind of partly dead in the spirit realm, but he collected enough power to go back into the overworld. Now in the overworld, he is unleashing chaos into all of China, and it's up to the Furious Five and Post to stop him. The question is, will they be powerful enough? If you want to find out, you gotta watch the film. My favorite scene would probably be the first scene when he gets that power to escape the spirit realm. To do this, he takes the chi, which is something that flows through everybody and all living things, kind of like the force, and he has to take Ugwe's chi. For people who forgot, Ugwe was that very powerful and wise turtle that was in the first two films, and Ugwe is also in the spirit realm. Well, Kai takes Ugwe's chi very successfully and kind of sad, but what I really like about this scene is the animation. Throughout the whole film, DreamWorks plays with animation so much, and I just love every second of it. It's beautiful, there's so many different designs, it's just so unique. And this scene especially has so much of it, and I love every second of it. And also, it's a very important scene for the movie. Now, I thought they did excellent in so many aspects. I do have to say that this is definitely meant for younger kids. I felt like the last two films were meant for all ages, but this is really directed to younger kids. I felt like some of the jokes were cheesy and more directed to the younger ages than the older. But that doesn't stop people to appreciate the animation. Like I said, it's just beautiful. A few scenes when they were doing the flashbacks especially, it felt like almost an ancient Chinese comic animated and it looks just beautiful. So many other ways they just play around the animation. And that's not the only thing that's beautiful about the soundtrack. All the sounds of things hitting things and all of that, and the music, it just all comes together very nicely, very smoothly, and they did an excellent job making it all put together. And also, I have to say, the voice acting is top notch. With Jack Black and J.K. Simmons and a few others, I loved every second of it. J.K. Simmons did an excellent job voicing Kai because Kai is evil and dangerous and strong and diabolical. But J.K. Simmons made him sound also a little bit funny and humorous, which I thought was perfect and it came out very nicely. Now, th like I said, this is more for the younger ages, so I give an age rating of 5 to 18. I also give it 5 out of 5 stars because it did an excellent job in so many categories. I mean, the animation, the voice acting, soundtrack, story, and so much more. If you would like to see this film, it is now in theaters near you. I'm Jerry Orr's Point for Kids First. Bye!